Essex Charity Sevens. This is the first time that Brazil have trodden on the hallowed turf up against Durham University. The Verde Amarillos, the green and yellows, well, they're going to be lapping this up. They've already shown well uh, in their time on these shores. They got to the semi final of the New Key Surf Sevens last weekend, losing out to Samurai, the eventual winners in the end. But a special moment for Brazil, Oli, and a special moment for international rugby sevens. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fabulous to see uh, you know, Brazil gracing the hallowed turf today, and uh, I think it's testament to where rugby sevens is going and where it's come so far. And uh, you know, credit, credit. It's, it's great. The last time I saw Durham, uh, Durham play, they were winning the Booster final this year. So they, this side's come on leaps and bounds. They're hugely confident, and uh, fingers crossed, they can uh, they can beat this very handy Brazilian side. Well, it'll be fascinating to see how they open up Durham University. As, as you mentioned, they've had such a fantastic season. Won the Premiership, won the Championship Cup. That's going to tell in the future, in the few next future minutes, hopefully, for them. Tim Shield trying to make a burst down this near side. Tom O'Toole unable to breach the line, but the ball's still there. Tackle Referee away. says play on. Good work from James Dennis, the captain, evading the clutches of two Brazilian tacklers. And the skipper leads the way for Durham University with the first try. Across the place. <laughs> well, it's one of the absurdities of Sevens rugby, isn't it? I can't think of... A fabulous opportunity that it's in their home country. It's going to sevens is going to be the, uh, be a new showcase event, and uh, you know I think it's brilliant to see you know, the likes of Brazil now starting to take their rugby seriously and trying to really push on, so that you know when when this game hits their their home territory, they've got a team to be proud of and a team that they can support. A little bit of a goose step there from uh, Lucas Duque, one of two brothers that's playing for Brazil this afternoon. Brother Moises is wearing number five. They've got numbers on the left, they just need to stretch Durham here. Run straight, fix the guys. Execution of the pass, critical. Well, it's not needed. The first try for Brazil at Twickenham and it's come from the captain, Fernando Portugal. Special moment in, in rugby history. This well, time. I always wanted to shout, go! Brazil, but I just have to shout, try Brazil. You need to practice the R, you need to hold yeah. it for a long, long time. Well, we've, un we've only got seven minutes. <laughs> well, a well worked try from Brazil, biding their time, waiting for the gap. And then the confidence to go for the gap. So, good work from the skipper. Unfortunately, he's missed that kick, which could prove crucial at the end. Every, every point's critical when you're playing sevens, and uh, it's, it's teed it up very nicely for the second half. So, half-time, it's Durham University in the lead, seven points to five. Durham Break down, they're securing their ball every single time they're going in, uh, and they're only needing to use one man to do it, so they're making it very, very, very much easier for their guys who are out in the width to then get their shaping, get their spacing so they can come back to it. Working it to the right wing, and Brazil are going to go into the lead. Well, that's Moises Duque, one of the brothers. Bit of showmanship as well out there, giving a little celebration after he scored. Great to see you, and brilliant sevens from Brazil there. Uh, really securing the ball at a breakdown, and then just pushing it to the width, fixing their men, and working hard. Well, a good opening to the second half for the yellow and greens. Selling the worst dummy at Twickenham, I think, there. But, uh, you didn't buy it, then? <laughs> I did, I thought it was a celebration, actually, so I was <laughs> sold completely. Five minutes left as brother Luca tries to add the two, bouncing it off the post. From Mike Ward, and it's back there again for Danny Holmes. There's a lovely patience in the way that Durham are playing and the, and the way that they're sort of setting up this Brazil side. And it's the very great fend there, great, super strength from Jack Patterson there. But that all stemmed again from the great restart. In fact, it was Jack that took it. Yeah. Join the queue, I think. If he, yeah, and if he, I think there is a... So, Brazil are going to be well aware that that clock is ticking down. But just one score difference the break by the try score Moises Duque feeds inside 
Mm, I think that's Dan Gregg who's made the break and feeds off to Enrique Pinto. And Brazil's number two gets their third try. A fabulous. And Brazil back in the lead. A fabulous line from Daniel Gregg there. Just cutting in and really exploiting that lazy third defender. And uh, beating, his, beating his man and his superb support from, uh, from Duque at the end just to, just to take it over. Well, we've mentioned before the extra two points are so important and Lucas Duque has made sure that his team now have a three-point differential with less than a minute to go. Just watch there that, that beautiful line that he cut in order to come back and then the flooding and support from the Brazilian side is outstanding. He had two, three men around the ball and that makes it so much, so much easier for him to look for the offloads and, uh, and, and focus on his job which is to basically beat that last, last defender. Now, possession from the restart is going to be critical, you suspect, to the outcome of this game. Ball out. Swung wide. Durham trying to get on the outside of their team, but Tom Shield not finding anywhere else to go. Everybody looking at the referee. Great confidence to back himself there, but that may well have just That's cost him again. Brazil go through to the next round of the cup. What a great start it is for the yellow and greens at HQ at Twickenham. 17-14, a tight score but a decisive score. Now let's get down to Bill Latham on the touchline who I believe has got a very happy Brazilian coach.